Holly Willoughby and Rachel Riley top love letter list, but secret crushes are wild. Holly Willoughby has been voted the woman men would most like to receive a love letter from. The This Morning presenter has topped the list of celebrities as normal folk would like a love letter from. She's joined in the top five by fellow daytime television queens Rachel Riley, number two, and Susanna Reid, number four. Rounding out the top five are Emily Clark from the Game of Thrones cast and, perhaps surprisingly, legendary actress Helen Mirren. New research from Royal Mail reveals looks of the sender are seen as less important when it comes to love letters. According to the research, people find wit, warmth, intelligence and honest more crucial aspects of a love letter. With that in mind, also included on the list are Nigella Lawson, Dawn French, Cheryl, Emily Blunt, and Emma Watson. Judy Dinch and Helena Bonham Carter are also in the top 20 while the chase's Anne Hickety is one of the secret crushes mentioned. When it comes to the men, Tom Hardy was the number one choice for 14% of respondents, while Ed Sheeran came in second. In the top five for then men, there was also Idris Elba, Benedict Cumberbatch and comedian James Corden. Hollywood's most notable men got mentions in the top 20, Daniel Craig, number 7, and Jamie Dornan, number 11. But it seems women most want humor when it comes to love letters, due to the number of comedians on the list. As well as Corden, there were John Bishop, Peter Kay, Saka Baron Cohen and Noel Fielding. And in terms of secret crushes for the ladies, Royal Mail mentions Brian Blessed and David Mitchell. Mark Street, head of campaigns at Royal Mail, said, our research demonstrates that the love letter still has the potential to set our pulses racing this Valentine's Day. While, sadly, we can't all expect to receive a love missive from our celebrity crushes, putting pen to paper for our own loves ones could be the next best thing. Though you've not got a lot of time left if you haven't sent yours off just yet. Yet.